And now, TSPN presents Open Mic Friday with Mike Spence and Butter. Hello and welcome to Open Mic Friday. It's Fridays again and uh, it's a special day for us because we get to bring on a special guest. And Today's guest, we have Cecily Smith, the new Executive Director for the Foothill Conservancy, a very important uh, entity here in the Foothills in Amador County. And the Foothill Conservancy plays a big role in uh, things that are going on in our county. And you are brand new to the county, so I want to welcome you. I'm going to actually Thank shake your you. hand and uh, <laughs> welcome you to the county Thank you. because it's really important to have somebody, uh, especially new, as the executive director. And uh, Cecily, I understand you started off. I have read your bio and uh, <laughs> go doing your undergraduate work at the University of Southern California. Yep. I used to think that all Southern U USC girls wore pearls. Do you wear pearls a lot? Uh, is that I, a have, myth I have a few uh, locked away no, yeah, in one I'm of sure my drawers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then you went to uh, Lewis and Clark to law school. Right, uh huh, in, in Portland, uh, Oregon. In Portland, and then, well, you've moved around quite a bit. I have. I and have then out to Arizona yes. for a master's. Yes. You're going to get along well with my wife, and she. Uh, she had practiced law for many years, and then she went to Stanford for a master's. You oh, know? Okay. So you're probably yeah. a lot like her with being a student, a uh, perpetual student, it sounds like. Yes. So you're really um, perfect for the position because it really requires a lot of intelligence. Why don't you tell us a little bit, how'd you find your way to Amador County? And how'd you end up here? Well, um, I was, before I came here, I was in Illinois. I was working for uh, Prairie Rivers Network, which is a statewide river protection group. Um, so I'd been working in the environmental field for actually a little over 12 years at that point. But I am originally from California, and I had spent my adult life uh, up until about 10 years ago in California, Oregon, and Arizona. So uh, I got married, and my husband was in Illinois, and that's how I got to Illinois. But I have been wanting to get back west ever since. Both of us wanted to get back west. So I started looking for jobs, um, saw the ad for the Foothill Conservancy, and looked at the group, uh, learned about them, and thought, this is such a fabulous organization. I want to apply for this job, and I was so lucky I got it. I think everybody as intelligent as you are eventually finds their way to Amador County. Yeah. <laughs> I would think. Uh, eventually, at some eventually. point. It's amazing where we find ourselves, isn't it? I mean, it you're, is. you're looking at a completely different yeah. uh, thing that what you had in Illinois, I'm sure, with rivers and things are right. very similar. But, right. you know, the McQuillamy River obviously is a huge part of the county. And uh, there's a big wild and scenic designation. That's one of the big projects that uh, yes. Foothill Conservancy yes. uh, manages and has been working toward for many years. Yes. And I know you have a lot of different projects, and that wild and scenic designation is, is huge. What is, you know, we always wonder, you know, what that does, the designation, and what it doesn't do. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the, um, the project there? Sure, the sure. Um, this is something that we've been working on for a number of years, and I think uh, people might wonder why does it take so long, but it is a political process, and sometimes political things getting something through Congress can take a bit of time. What we're trying to do in Seeking Wild and Scenic Designation for the McCallamy is briefly just to ensure that the public access points that we do have on the river now, which are very few, remain in place, and that those portions of the river that are in between current um, powerhouses so those stretches that are pretty much untouched can remain that way, uh, meaning that no dams or diversions could be constructed on those segments. So this is a 37-mile stretch that we're focusing on. It actually has three powerhouses on it now. But again, those segments in between uh, are, are untouched. There is some access for the public. So we do have uh, the ability to raft and kayak, get down to the river, 
So it's great for families or fisher people that want to get out and do some fishing. I think one of the main things that is not well understood about this designation is that there's a feeling that it somehow will affect private landowners. And in actual fact, it does not change any existing uses or practices on private land. And that is not well understood at all. Very important point. Very important yeah. point. Yeah. Because a lot of people look at that designation and think, well, I don't want anybody to be told what they're supposed to do with their land and what they may or may not do in the future if they pass it down to you know, the next generation. And exactly. Yeah, that's always the biggest concern. So it does not affect any of the private uh, ownership of any of the lands along the river? Nope. Access and things. No, and okay. anything that is currently going on, uh, it, it just remains the same. So actually within wild and scenic designation, there are three different sort of subcategories. So one is wild. So, so parts of what we're looking at, and I don't have a map unfortunately, but so some of the segments we would want to have called wild. And those are pretty much untouched, inaccessible stretches now. Some of them we would have labeled scenic. So there might be some, uh, you know, uh, evidence of human use, some access to those areas. So it's not as though they're perfectly untouched. And then the, the other designation is recreational, and that means even more physical presence and intrusion has happened in that particular segment of the river. So even though you're calling it wild and scenic, within that category, it acknowledges that there are different types of uh, conditions on the river, from the very pristine to areas that are used by people Truly. now. It's great to, uh, you know, our generations go by so quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we don't work at it and be good stewards of the land while we're here, then, you know, we don't protect it. There are a lot of generations that have had a history of going down there and, and visiting those parts of the river. I fish, and, you know, I'm sure families have had their kids and have grown up down there on the river, along the river, and, and it's such a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful you know, I go on a lot of rivers. I love to fly fish. Yeah. And the McQuillamy is amazing, like yeah. beautiful. It's a special place. People don't really realize, especially along Electra Road, I do the wildflower walk, and yeah. I'll get out there. Yeah. And there's some beautiful fish in there, surprisingly, yeah. you know, right out of Jackson. So it's a, it's a special place. And I hike down to Tiger Creek and, you know, up into the... You know, my son's done that. My kids grew up down there, and, and um, you know, I know how special it is, and would like to help out in any way in terms of uh, your efforts, in terms of communicating anything. You know, it's it's always divisive and political. We do a lot of that on TSPN, and welcome to the show. Right. You know, the more divisive and the more <laughs> political it is, we thrive on that. So don't be afraid. The microphone doesn't work. You can say you can say anything you want. There's no. Uh, there's no worries in terms of, uh, you know, getting information out and, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, are worried about land use and it's a big thing, traffic yes. and, you know, right. traffic mitigation and things. I know we'll, we'll come back after the break and um, talk a little, we have the butter break coming up too in the middle, so please stay tuned for that. Uh, butter's with us today and we're going to spin the wheel for a prize, you're going to enjoy that. And um, we're going to come back and talk a little bit about some of the other projects that um, the Foothill Conservancy is involved with Great. and we're just excited to have you here because Thanks. you know executive <laughs> director I mean you really have a handle on on um, the different projects and can give us some um, some straight information and and get a lot of the um, you know clear the information up in terms of what people are thinking especially Great. about the different projects yeah. so we'll be back and we're gonna come back right after the break we're gonna have butter and a lot of excitement with Cecily Smith of the Foothill Conservancy and um, we can say anything we want. Remember, we can we can just uh, have some fun. So Great. <laughs> we'll be right back. So please stay tuned. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.